Stay cool. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Atlantic Ocean. Why are you so depressed? What has got you down? What am I talking about? First eight, now nine. I'm over at the Alabama WX weather blog, having just rushed home from In-N-Out Burger to bring you this story, since I promised you I'd stay on top of it. And I have. I said the oceans would be extremely active, and extremely active they are. Man, I'm a genius. But I act like a fool, so you don't get intimidated. First eight, now nine. Earlier today, we announced the birth of Tropical Depression 8. Now just six and a half hours later, we have Tropical Depression 9. Data from a NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft this afternoon indicated that the area of low pressure located in the Florida Straits had a well-defined center. Satellite imagery also showed a significant increase in the convective organization today. So NHC has now classified this system a tropical cyclone. All right, the party is raging in the Atlantic. The initial intensity is set to 30 knots based on the highest reliable wind data from the aircraft. The aircraft also reported a central pressure of 1,009 megabytes. Megabarometers? I don't know, you guys can let me know what that means. I forgot. Millibars. There you go. Thanks, Bernie. Your voice just popped up in my brain. It was like, millibars. That's crazy. Interesting that this is actually a lower pressure than the 06Z GFS run projected this morning. Man, everybody's been bashing the models. Depression is still moving through a marginal environment for intensification and will be doing so for the next day or so. Only slow strengthening can be expected during the short term. After a day or so, the environment should improve a little as the shear is forecast to decrease somewhat and become southwesterly, which should permit a little more strengthening. But there are some mixed signals from the models. As always, everybody been banging on these models lately. The initial motion estimate is 270 degrees at 9 knots, but the confidence here is low too, given the most recent formation of the center with little real history to go by. The cyclone will be steered in the short range by the mid-level ridge centered over the southeast United States. Yeah, so two surprise depressions in one day. Sounds like the Atlantic is going through a midlife crisis. There's probably going to be a race between Tropical Depression 8 and 9 to see which one reaches tropical storm strength first. Looks like 8 could gain tropical strength status first, so it would be named Hermine. And that means 9 would be Ian. But stay tuned since everything can change. Amen. Looks like Florida is set to get a lot of rain. Gulf Coast near Texas. It always seems to get exciting as we approach the peak in hurricane season. And 2016 is certainly not disappointed. Neither was my prediction about 10 days ago that this was going to be a crazy, crazy hurricane season. Yeah, I don't know if you have been following the weather as much as I have and watching these radars and satellites. But A, we are going through pulsing. Is our sun getting hit by a pulsar? And then pulsing onto us? I don't know. But if you watch, notice how everything pulse. 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 See, you can almost time it. Pulse. Though, oddly enough, most of it happens at night. That's crazy. It does look like everything is kind of pulling it towards the Gulf area. And if the shear goes away, Katie, bar the door, because the coast is about to get wet. And wouldn't you know it, right on cue, the sun has a solar flare. I like to say, when the sun goes crazy, Earth weather goes crazy, and people go crazy. And if you watch right here, you can see the flare. It makes an X, though I don't know if it's officially an X-class flare. I guess we'll find out. And I've already had my crazy bout this morning. Sorry about that, Sage. And look at that filament. That thing is giant, massive. You got massive coronal hole. You got massive filament. That thing right here is our filament. You got a NASA box. We always love the NASA boxes. Get your mind out of the gutter. So you got ocean activity and solar activity the same day. It's an active weekend. It's a silly Sunday. Is it just me, or does it feel all climate change chaos up in here? Active oceans, organically organizing. Maybe we need some organite to protect us. Hey, cat, calm down. I'm doing audio. They love you, though, cat. Go ahead and speak up. Every time I mention you, people are like, be sure to be nice to that cat. Are you kidding? I love this cat. <laughs> this cat loves me. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at this. Seriously, just look at it with your eyes. In the middle is America, and all the red dots are the places where the ocean is going bonkers. So it's going bonkers all around us. I've never seen it like this before. That is crazy. Meow. But if you'll notice here, everybody thinks they use harp for bad stuff. But when that crazy harp line goes through, this storm dissipates. You notice that? Crazy. Maybe it's harp. Maybe it's not harp. I don't want any of the other truthers to come at me. It's like a baseball bat and their crew of people talking about how I'm an idiot and a liar because uh, I said something. I just meant it as a basic geoengineering term. I don't necessarily think bad guys are after us 24-7. You know, just like 22 of the hours. 
You gotta take a break. You gotta smile somewhere in life. Am I right? I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna fight. I'm talking about the weather. It turns my girl on. She's like, talk to me about water vapor, baby. Yeah, anything that is not brown is water vapor. So you can see this part of the globe is wet. Up in the air, down in the land, and even in between. All right, so stay tuned. It's only going to get weirder and wilder. We got about 10 more days in this peak hurricane season, so... Holy crap, look at all the water up there. All right, I'm out. Peace. Wait, one more thing. If you don't like Doom, you better leave now. Because this is now the Doom portion of the show where I show you mean sea level pressure. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Just whoa. And this is the nasty bitch that's been here for, like, two years. All right. They've been having the giant cyclone typhoon thing in Lion Rock. There you go. Look at these little hammer things. It's like a hammerhead shark, except it's precipitation. It does look weird. Whoa, why did they take wind power density away? I like that one. This is total precipital water, which is water that wants to participate. And apparently a lot of water is about to come out and play. So be ready. God bless everyone. Stay tuned, as I will be bringing you the Hurricane News. Peace.